All right, Tyler Perry fans, uh, this will be one of two videos I'll be doing on a fall from grace. Uh, this isn't a roasting video, but this is more like uh, the top major inconsistencies of the movie that people were talking about online. I'm glad the uh, hype has kind of died down because it was literally nothing but a fall from grace slash Tyler Perry bashing for a good couple weeks there. But this video, once again, just making observations on fan observations and in no particular order, we're going to start off with number five. Um, the judge in one of the scenes was actually shown, you know, from a back, you know, from behind the head angle. And he clearly has the script for a fall from grace in front of him while filming. And a lot of people, and that's the fun thing about the internet, people screenshotting it and literally just circulating around. So just the fact that a lot of things really weren't checked out in the post-production and it showed. Uh, next up, number four, Jordan portrayed by Matthew Law. There were like, what, two or three times in the film where he's putting someone under arrest, he puts them in handcuffs, and he leaves the person that he is putting under arrest alone, and they leave, like, wasn't there a scene before he went over to um, uh, the house to check on his wife, and uh, he was he pulled someone over and was arresting them, and then he jumps in his car and drives off, and it's like, wait, what? So what was that guy going to do? Uh, I mean, is did anybody go to arrest him or did the guy just go home or something? Cause I'm no expert on this. I'm not a contortionist, but if my hands are behind me in my handcuff, can I lift my arms over my head so I can have access to my hands and drive that way? I don't know. Never, hope, you know, think I don't want to jinx, but thank the Lord. I've never been in handcuffs and I never plan on being any, but, uh, <laughs> then at the end of the movie where he goes to the house to, um, save, um, Jasmine from Sarah slash Betty, he fights her for a little bit and puts her in handcuffs like, don't move. And then when he goes downstairs to find all those women, she slips through the back door and gets the hell out of there. So, not the best cop in the world. Uh, number three, Shannon not looking beaten or at all. I mean, what was it after Grace beat the hell out of him? Well, the hell out of his head. With that baseball bat, um, for whatever reason, he comes back and all he has is like a couple of black eyes. You would think his head would have had some dents in it or whatever because, I don't know, maybe his hairpiece protected him. I don't know what was up with that fade, but apparently it might have softened the blows. But I am just very concerned. But then again, as someone who has watched multiple Tyler Perry shows, people being injured and not sustaining scars and whatnot for a long period of time, this is a common trope, but this is something that people kept bringing up in review videos and they kept bringing up online. Number two, uh, this should be number one. I saw far more people talk about this, but while Shannon and um, Grace were on their first date at that restaurant that looked a lot like a steak and shake, they're talking with each other. And then the old guy, the old white guy who was an extra behind them was chewing food that wasn't on his fork and drinking from a glass that was clearly empty. Yeah. Kev on stage made a video on this. So that alone right there is worth the shock value. But number one takes the cake because I believe DL Hughley shared this video on his, um, <laughs> on his social media. And that was when Grace and Jasmine were talking, you know, in the interrogation room and, um, Grace's hair when she's just describing you know the circumstances of her marriage and everything and she's like it was like a whirlwind and the part that got me was when she said world like her hair is like kind of you know I guess you could say flat or whatever the right term is but when she says a whirlwind and then the camera goes back to her part of her hair is standing up like she was literally in a windstorm so from the hair and I'm not even going to talk about the wigs because I'm talking about major inconsistencies from Grace's hair to that extra eating air, that wasn't meant to rhyme, it just did. The judge reading the script, Shannon not having proper injuries after that baseball bat beating, and Jordan, Jordan arresting people without actually taking them in. This movie had a lot of problems, but it still got 26 million views during the first week, so what can you do? But let me know of any other major inconsistencies with a fall from Grace that you noticed, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe.
Peace.